What is my salary range? Are you falling in love again? When was your first kiss? How long? With whom? <laughs> Reason regarding the breakup with my ex. I'm doing well. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Young with the hat and welcome back to my channel. It's been so long since I've said that. It feels good, but also it feels a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie, but I'll get used to it. Don't worry about it. Hello. First of all, I just wanna say thank you very much for being patient with me, especially you guys who are still watching. I know I haven't posted a lot over the last few days, weeks, or even months. I've been going through some stuff. Wait, instead of saying I'm going through some stuff, I would rather say I'm healing from things. Oh wait, let me do a quick update for you. Ever since we last met, I met a lot of new friends in and out of work. I've been to the office very often. Now I try to go at least once or twice a week, but before this, I go like every three months or something. But I've been talking to a lot of people in the office, like my co-workers. I go to the cinema with them. And recently, I started playing softball. At work, there's a softball team. You know, softball is like baseball, but I've been playing very consistently at place like every week. And people told me that I'm the ace player in the team because I hit very accurately and I run really fast. So I'm really happy about it. And work has been a lot. I've been given a lot of responsibility, a lot of clients. I'm in charge a lot now. So, <laughs> and it's going well. And friends outside of the office, I met a lot of amazing people who I can talk to about content creating and talk to about life and work. And just seeing people happy really make me happy. I've been having a lot of dinners with friends. And that's good because I haven't done a lot of dinners since I got to London. I've been doing a lot of things by myself. But recently, I've been going out with friends, and yeah, that's good. <laughs> Honestly, I'm grateful for my friends. Friends I just met recently, friends that dragged me out to do things, very new things. I'm grateful for the experience. I've been doing so many new things, honestly. I've been rock climbing, trying out different food and restaurants. Recently, I tried out Ethiopian food. It was so good. Filipino food and Indonesian food. And about my family. My family are doing well, my brother and sisters having summer break, they're going out, having fun, and then me right here just work a lot. <laughs> and my parents, they're doing well as well, they're enjoying life. I think my dad is talking about retiring, but I'm not sure, I'm not too sure about his plan. I think he's a work workaholic, he works a lot, just like me. I mean, I work a lot, just like him, but I think he want to change something in his life. Uh, he's getting... A little bit old on time at that. They're all doing very well. I talk to them every single day. I talk to my parents and my siblings every single day. I've gotten a lot closer to my brother ever since he started studying abroad, studying by himself in America, and I'm being here by myself. We can relate to a lot of things. We talk almost every single day, and I'm happy about it. So, what did I tell you about friends, work, family, interpersonal life? How about me? I'm doing well. <laughs> I've been growing a lot. I've been focusing on myself a lot. I've been going to the gym. I keep myself physically well. As you can see, I think I'm looking very good right now. I'm having a mini glow up. My skin is glowing. Anyway, I think I'm doing good for myself physically. And mentally, I could do better. I could do better someday. I get really sad. Someday I get really happy. I think it's all because it comes in waves, you know? It just comes in waves. I'm still healing. I'm at this stage where I accept it. I'm at the acceptance stage where I know things happen the way it's supposed to. It is for the best. It is for the best, honestly. Deep from the bottom of my brain, I know it is for the best, but somewhere in my heart, I still feel a little bit sad. I think it's just come in wave. As I say, times will heal. I just need to focus on myself. Focus on myself is what I'm doing best right now. Don't let people or situations affect my emotions and I think I'd be good. I feel like we are best friends. We're catching up. And honestly you guys deserve a catch up because I haven't done this for a long time. As you see I haven't done a lot of eye contact with my camera. So this video is going to be a QA and a video. You guys ask me a lot of questions to know more about me. And honestly this is only my second Q&A. My first Q&A is with somebody else. Uh, <laughs> that's just random trick girls like this. That's okay, it's okay. Um, the first Q&A is with my ex, and this is the second Q&A that I've ever done, and it's gonna be by myself. So it's like symbolized, I have to be by myself. I have to 
learn to do things by myself and honestly I'm all for it all right so this video is going to be divided into three parts that's what I came up with right now it may change but the first part is going to be you guys asked me a lot of questions on my Instagram and I picked a whole lot of them I write them down here there are just so many questions Whatever questions I think I have to answer, and if I cannot answer that questions, I'm going to play Jumpy Bunny. For one of the questions I cannot answer, I will put a marshmallow into my mouth. This is a bunny hat that one of my subscribers gave to me when I was in Vietnam. Look how cute. When I play Jumpy Bunny, I'm gonna put this on and put the marshmallow in my mouth. So that's the first part. I'm going to answer these questions. And then for the second part, I'm going to play this or that. You guys gave me two options i have to pick between the two of them and then the third part is just a speed round in about one to two minutes i have to answer as many questions as i can but first let's go get marshmallow because it's still early in the morning and it's saturday morning so there's not a lot of people at the supermarket if we wait at noon this is so many people and i don't want to record when there's so many people i guess it's kind of scary you know <laughs> let's go get marshmallow let me show you my outfit first i'm really proud of this outfit so let me know what you think. I'm at the sweet sections already. We need to get marshmallow to put it into my mouth when I cannot answer our questions. But I feel like there will be so many questions that I can't answer because I want to be honest, right? So I will answer as many questions as I can. Only the weird one or the one that hurt me, I cannot answer. I only have these two types of marshmallows. They're not even that big. I want a big piece of marshmallow where you roast for s'mores. The big piece, it's more fun that way, right? I'm home now. I couldn't find a big marshmallow, but I found this small one. They're very cute. The initial plan is, if I don't want to answer one question, I'll fit the whole big marshmallow into my mouth. But since I got these, I think if I don't want to answer one question, I will fit three of these into my mouth. That does sound like a challenge. I think it's fun. Okay, so let's start part one of the video, answering your questions with Juppy Bunny. There's three main topics in these questions. The first one is life. How do I live my life in general? How can I stay positive? How can I do with stress? And then the second topic is about work. How can I be a tax accountant? How do I go about being a content creator? How do I balance between the two? And the third topic is just general, all the questions. I know many of you guys are still very curious about the breakup, but this is the one topic that I get hurt a lot whenever I think about. So, but I still have them in here. So these are the questions that I think Jumpy Bunny will help. I will have to eat marshmallow. Let's pick the first questions. What is my salary range? Okay, this is a good question. As you guys know, I'm a tax accountant and also content creators. For me, as a tax accountant, my salary is more consistent, right? Like I have a monthly, a yearly salary. So I make around 50 to 100K pound a year as a tax accountant. I cannot give you specific detail, but that I can give you. As you guys know, I'm also a content creator. I think that each of the job itself is not very hard, but balancing between the two is extremely hard. For content creating, I haven't made a lot of money. Also, I make enough money to pay for my living expenses, to have fun, to pay for my travel, but it's not very consistent. So some months I make a lot. I make more than being a tax accountant, but some other month, it's just so-so. Or rather, I don't know how much I make as a content creator per month. I have a yearly salary, but it's been increasing like since last year, since the year before. I've been doing this for three and a half years now. I start being a content creator at the same time I start being a tax accountant because I moved to London and I got so bored being a tax accountant. So when I start something that increase my creative side that can balance between my analytical and my creative side so i start my tax accountant and my content creator at the same time but the yearly increase they've both increased very fast like after a few years being a tax accountant my yearly salary almost double and same as my content creating the first year i didn't get a lot of money actually i didn't get any money at all but in the second year and in the third year I increased a lot from brand sponsorships from ad revenue. So overall, I'm enjoying the hustling, bustling culture, but at the same time, I have to balance between the two because I don't want it to do with a lot of stress. Okay, so first question, done. <laughs> then the second question, are you falling in love again? No! <laughs> okay, to be honest, it is very hard for me to fall in love with somebody. I like people, I have crush on people, but it takes me a lot, a lot of time, a lot of trust to fall in love with other people. Like the last time I fall in love with people, no, I only 
fell in love with one person and obviously that didn't work out. That's it. But I'm not falling in love again. I feel like I'm answering more than I need to. But I'm not falling in love again. I'm falling in love with myself and I'm myself only. I'm using healing as an excuse to fall in love and spending a lot of money, time and effort on myself as I should. But it is quite difficult, especially after you go through a relationship where you put all your effort in and obviously didn't receive as much. It makes me question if I should fall in love again, I should, if I should put my trust and emotion into a person. So no, I'm not falling in love again and I don't think that I will be falling in love anytime soon. Third question, this one. Oh, this is a long question. What are my plans as a gay man, marriage, kid, or life? What are my plans as a gay man? What? You should just ask, what are my plans as a man? A lot of my relatives in Vietnam always ask me when will I get married? And I always tell them that I will get married at 40 years old because I know getting married at 40 is a little bit later in life. But honestly, I believe in marriage. I believe in two people coming together a piece of paper making it legal I don't know I just love being in a marriage I imagine myself being with somebody that I love spend the rest of my life with them reading books having traveling together having a house together and do all these romantic things so I do believe in marriage but I just don't see myself getting married very early my mom got married at 24 but I think I will get married at 30 or 35 5 or 10 years down the road and right now, I haven't been together with somebody and I want to be together with that person for a few years before we get married. So I don't see myself getting married in the next five years, but maybe 10 years. It's okay. When it comes, it comes. Whatever happened, happened. For me, I want to travel a lot. I want to experience different things in life. So I want to work really hard now, have a lot of money, save those money and go travel and giving back to the community. For me, I want to foster. I want to adopt kids or at least I want to spend money on an orphanage or a center that helps would help kids. I have a lot of siblings, I have a lot of cousins and I think it's fun if I have my own kids so that I can have them play with my cousin kids and my siblings kids and you know it's just good to have a human being growing with you but at the same time I know having kids is a lot of responsibility and a commitment. I don't see myself having that much commitment no. <laughs> yeah, that's my plan right now. Just working really hard, getting married 10 years down the road, and maybe, maybe not having kids, but I always want to help kids. So maybe I will donate my money into a charity. But yeah, having kids is a lot of commitment, and I don't see myself doing that. Fourth question When was your first kiss? How long? With whom? <laughs> If you watch my come out video, I will link it here. I had my first kiss when I was 21, one year after I moved to London. And it was just with a guy that I talked to. <laughs> I met him on a dating app. We met and we went on the first date together. And on the second date, I went to his house. I made summer rolls, we made summer rolls with him. It was so much fun. And then we kissed and then he ghosted me after that. So my first kiss is when I was 21 with a stranger, he ghosted me. That's it. I was so sad. I romanticized first time. For me, first kiss is something very important. And I feel comfortable with him. He was the first person that I met on dating app. So I was like, this guy's good looking. He's also kind. And let's kiss. I kissed him and he ghosted me. Obviously, he's not very emotionally mature. And it also taught me not to romanticize first time because when you do something for the first time, it tend not to go well and you tend to improve the next time you do it. So maybe when you kiss somebody for the first time, don't overthink it. Just go with the flow, enjoy the moment. But if that person is not good for you, just don't stay because of that first kiss. I mean, for me, I didn't have an option because he ghosted me, obviously. He didn't respond anything after that was so bad. Anyway, move on. Fourth question is done. Now it's the fifth question. Reason regarding the breakup with my ex. Okay, chubby bunny time. I'm gonna do chubby bunny for this one. I will give you a little bit of information, not too much, just because I don't want to relieve that. And also, I don't want to keep mentioning it. 
I know. Do you guys ask me so many questions about it though? When I read it, I was so sad because like obviously I don't want to give too much attention again to something that was gone. It was not right. Um, but I know you guys are curious. So I'm just gonna say that the reason why we broke up is because on social media I cannot say everything, right? Because I know I have enough influence to destroy and change somebody's life and I don't want to do that. I also want to be truthful with my feeling. I mentioned in my breakup vlog, if you guys have seen that already, it's because we're not compatible. But actually, it goes much deeper than that. I don't want to show too much. But I, I break up because I feel like I was resenting myself for staying. I hate myself so much for staying. It was hurting me to a point that I didn't recognize myself anymore. My bare minimum request wasn't met. As you guys know, I'm very self-sufficient. I do a lot of things by myself and I'm very happy. I'm very comfortable. I'm very secure in myself. But it was hard at that point where I just have expectations and things that we communicate that wasn't being listened and being heard. Yeah, so I actually feeling a deep hatred in myself for staying. It just gives me a lot of negative emotions. It takes away my happiness and I have to prioritize myself first. I, it hurt now, like still, for living because obviously it was my first time being with somebody. Yeah, so overall, the reason regarding the breakup is because I feel like I'm turning into something that I'm not negatively and I don't like that. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> okay, jump me bunnies too. First question I didn't want to answer, so let me fit three pieces into my mouth, okay? Oh, there's all different shapes. This one is rectangular, this one is a little more twisted, and this one is rounded. Three different types. Rectangular, twisted, and more rounded. Okay, first piece. Mmm, this is bigger than I expected. So big. <laughs> Second one. I think my method is to fit the whole cheeks full of marshmallow. Third one. Okay, three pieces done. Okay, next question. Is it right to be in a new relationship a few days or weeks after the breakup? Why does this keep going on? People, you ask me questions that hurt me a lot. Jump me bunny. I don't understand. Like I have only a few of these in this box because you guys ask me so many the same questions about the breakup, etc. And I mix it in here, I just leave a few questions, but now I'm picking like two of them already. I would say, no, no, it's not right. It just depends on people. For me personally, I don't think it's right unless you have a rebound or you've been communicating with that person for before the breakup. That's why this happened. It happened to me. Oh, I'm not gonna say anything. This question hurt me because I feel like it's a personal attack. I'm not going to elaborate on that. I'm just gonna leave it right there. Okay, next question. I hate this. Why am I doing this to myself? Honestly, in a way, this helped also because there's many things that I cannot say on social media. <laughs> just so many things. I share all this with my friends and they know it, of course. But when it comes to a lot of people, it just there's always positive and negative, a lot of negative comments when I talk about these things and I don't want it to affect other people's life. At this point, I think I move on, I accept. I accept that I was wrong, I was done very wrong and uh, I just want to leave it as that. I'll just focus on myself, I'm not gonna pour my energies onto other people anymore. And it, but it's still hurt, right? Like you love somebody so much and you feel like you betray. But I'm not going to focus on that part. I just focus on the part that I love and that's all that matters. I have the capability to love, to appreciate, to help other people. For me, when I love somebody, that person become a part of me. Not in, not in terms of dependence, but I do want to help that person become a better person. I think I did do that. I think I did help them become a better person. But at the same time, they didn't appreciate that enough and didn't meet the bare minimum, so I kinda love myself more. I kinda walk away. So to answer your question, in short, it is not right to be with somebody else days or weeks after the breakup because it is 
too short. It is either a rebound or they've been doing something behind your back. But let's not focus on them. Focus on yourself because at the end of the day, you love. You give all your best. You try your best. You know, you fight for it. And they don't deserve all of that. So focus on yourself. Put all of this love that you put on the wrong person onto yourself. You will grow more beautifully. You will bloom. Okay, three more pieces. These three pieces. They're really big, honestly. They're bigger than the big marshmallow. I think it would be impossible for me to fit the whole big marshmallow into my mouth. Three more pieces. Fourth one. Fifth one. Sixth one. This is so R-rated. I don't think I will put this into the video. <laughs> Next question. How do you start as a YouTuber influencers? I started the summer before I moved to London. So I graduated school. I have a few months before I moved to London to start my job as a tax accountant. And I'm just like, okay, let's get a camera. And I spent two days studying an editing software called Premiere Pro. And then I just start editing my own videos. I just recording like that. It is very instant. I don't even think much, I'm just like, maybe let's just enjoy this. Let's just record this first video, in the second video, and in the third video. Thankfully, on my fourth video, I went a little bit viral. It was really fun, and I enjoy recording, I enjoy talking to you guys. And when I started seriously, is when I moved to London. Yep, I moved to London being a tax accountant. And when everything was locked down, I have nothing else to do. So I was just hustling between being a tax accountant and being a content creator. I just turn on my camera, record myself, and edit it. It's just like that. And yeah, and it's been three years now. I met so many amazing people. I've done so many amazing things because I started this. You know, going to events, meeting people. I just overall enjoy the little perks and quirks of being a content creator. Like somebody recognize you, somebody wanna meet you on the street and hug you and take a picture with you and you know that you change somebody's life it's just so good but my advice for you who want to start just just do it yeah honestly it is a cliche but the difficult part is just put your foot down on it and do it next question what does it feel like to live far away from home yes I feel homesick <laughs> yeah I feel homesick because I live far away from my family my friends my best friends they're all in Vietnam right now. Although, I've always lived far away from home ever since I was 16 years old. I moved to the US by myself, right? So in a way, I've been living by myself for almost 9 years, 10 years now. I'm turning 25 this year. Is it crazy? Yeah. I've been living by myself for almost 10 years. And I, I like it. I'm growing independent and I'm learning a lot of things about myself. But sometimes it's hard. And when you go through a difficult period in your life, you just wanna go and hug your family and friends and you cannot do that. Of course you have friends here, but your, my family is away and I talk to my mom and dad every single day. It helps. It helps a lot. Okay, next question. Is it normal to cut people out to protect your peace? Yes, if you can, obviously. I think at this point for me in my life, I met enough people to know which one is good for me and which one is bad for me. In the moment, I feel like somebody is not good for my mental health and somebody make it so hard for me to to bond with them. I think it's good to let them go. Relationship, platonic or non-platonic, should be easy for you. Of course, there are periods when you have to try harder, when you have to fight for it, but it should come naturally. You guys have to communicate and it have to come from both sides. Because when you communicate, you can see some difference. When a difference is too big, just let them go. Just talk, communicate as an adult, like, hey, I don't think we're compatible, we have different expectations as friends or as lovers. I think it's best if we depart, things like that. Communicate is the most important thing. The people who ghost you, who just let you go without any warning, are those who are emotionally immature. It is not on you, okay? It's not on you to go and just chase them like that. Relationship should be from both sides. It should be a partnership. So yes, let them go if you can. I know that some situation is very hard. Like if your parents are toxic to you, you cannot just let them go. Or just somebody you have kids with, it's harder to let them go. But focus on your peace 
I think deep down inside, you know what you need to do. Yeah, trust your instinct, trust your gut. Very important, trust your gut. When something tells you that it's wrong, trust it. Don't just gaslight, don't just lie to yourself because it will not be good. <laughs> okay, next question. How to balance life as a YouTuber, influencer, and as a tax accountant? I, I don't. <laughs> Right now, it is still very difficult for me to balance my life as both a tax accountant as a YouTuber because there's periods as a tax accountant when you get really, really, really busy, you can't do anything else. And for my life as a content creator, I can choose if I want to post a lot of videos or post less videos. But if I choose to post less, I think that affects my viewership and it's not good as well so that's also the number of pressure so what i would do is i, I try to delegate tasks yeah it gets easier for me as a tax accountant where i'm at a managing position now where i can ask people to help me do stuff so i can just review it but also as a content creator i will hire video editor i can also have a team a management team who help me with a lot of stuff okay okay, okay. the most important advice is work on your physical health you have to go to the gym you have to work out you because if you have so many things going on you tend to neglect your physical health and when your physical health deteriorate it will track everything down health is wealth or the other way wealth is health focus on your health work on your physical health and everything will get better eat healthy sleep well people tend to not sleep what are you looking for in a boyfriend <laughs> Guys, this is too, too early. Okay, I will talk about physical and emotional size. Physical, I like somebody with a bright smile, a beautiful smile. Somebody who's a smile can brighten a whole room. Like, who can take care of themselves. If you look at the person and you can tell that somebody is taking care of themselves, I like that. I think that's a physical trait that I like a lot and I think you guys also notice that as well. Is that I like somebody with long hair, uh, long and curly hair. I don't know why I like to play with their hair a lot. I like when we watch movie together. I play with their hair, and I think it's cute. But it's not, you know, it's not a requirement at this point in my life. I think I want to find somebody who's more emotionally mature and available than somebody who look good. All right, so somebody who's confident, communicate well. Somebody has to communicate what they think. Can take criticism and be better together who like to have a lot of goals and ambitions and a longer list but I I will know when I see that person and spend some time with them not now though too early still too early next question how can I keep a positive energy after something bad happened to me honestly I'm a very positive person on or off camera but I think I show a lot more positive side on camera I feel sad a lot of camera, but I just don't show it. But I'm overall a very positive person. I like to focus on the good things around me. When I'm sad, I talk a lot to my friends and my families. I think that helps very, very much. Um, you think that your experience is only your experience, but that's not really true. A lot of experience are very universal. Like when you go, when I first went through my first heartbreak, I was so difficult i feel like i was going to die but then i talked to my friends and my families and they also say that oh, the first breakup is always the most difficult it's not just you guys are breaking up but all your hopes and your dreams are kind of going away you don't know how many things i talk about i talk about a lot with my ex i plan out the things and i just but the way that i keep positive is to focus on the positive things there's a lot of things for you to enjoy around yourself like just Life is a journey, not a destination. Just because you have something bad happen to you doesn't mean that it's going to end. Just focus on the good things. You have friends and family around. Talk to them. Yeah, you just know that you are special. I think people are the main characters in their story. Just focus on yourself. Grief, if something bad happened to you, grief, cry a lot. I'm still grieving, honestly. At this point, I feel like I'm going to grieve the relationship more than the relationship itself. Something I just not meant for you, and that's okay. Just focus on yourself, but do not give up hope. Okay, you look outside. Just because it is raining doesn't mean that the rain is not going to stop. It will be sunny, there will be rainbow outside when the rain stops. Yeah, so just focus on the good things. Forward looking also. 
have a lot of hopes and goals and things will get better. Believe that things will get better is really important. Okay, two more questions before I have to go. First one. Top or bottom? How can you guys ask this? This is way too personal. You don't know how many times I got asked this because of the way I behave. I got asked this question a lot. Mm, let's not label it. I'm, I'm a verse king. <laughs> okay, just be bunny for this one. Three more pieces. I don't think I can. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let me eat one without shoving the whole thing into my mouth. Mm, it's very good. I like it. Oh, it's fat free. <laughs> Last question. How is my heart now? Oh, this is so cute. My heart is very full. It is much fuller than six months ago and it's doing better now. I think that a few months from now, I will be ready to open my heart again. I will go on dates more. Uh, I want to try that. So I don't want to let this stop me from believing in love and honestly when somebody told me that after the first breakup they like completely changed as a different person and I didn't believe that until like wow I experienced it and I was like there are just so many random triggers I see this and I see that and it just keep reminding me and I got hurt a little bit and then but life goes on you know everything just keep continuing so yeah it is very different my heart now is like full. There's still bandage around it, but I think time will heal it. Time will pass and the bandage will fall off, but obviously there will be scar. So I think I need to find somebody that can help me go through all the triggers. Because I don't think that these triggers will go away totally. They will always be there. It's just a matter of time that I get through them, know how to deal with them. So I have to learn to deal with them first before I get into another relationship. Alright, so my heart is okay. Thank you very much for asking. And that concludes our first part. I hope you enjoy. Job be bunny. And now let me get ready to meet my friends. It's gonna be the other part, the second session. I think I will ask my friend to be the host of the next Q&A session. Look, hi! Wow. I'm gonna go meet her now. Spray a little bit of perfume on. Oh, recently I like to use perfume a lot. Before I didn't use perfume or cologne, but now I use a lot more. I think it's good experimenting something new. Mix it a little bit. Sunglasses. And finally, because it is a little bit windy, so I put on this sweater. Good. Hello friends, right now I'm with my friend Annie. Hi Annie. <laughs> <laughs> I am Annie. <laughs> right now we're at a party. We have to stop the party for a little bit to up here and answer some questions from you guys. Yes. So this is part two of the Q&A, this or that. So Annie is going to give me two options. Are you guys going to give me two options? I have to pick between the two of them. The one that I don't want to answer, the one that I want to skip, I'm going to say pass and Annie is going to hit me with this very long dog. <laughs> we just found this randomly in the house. What is it called? The um, long dog? Dashun. Dashun. The sausage dog. The sausage dog. She's going to hit me with the sausage dog. <laughs> so we're gonna do three minutes instead of two. And you're ready, Annie? <laughs> Annie is so nervous right I'm now. Nervous. I should be the one who's nervous. I'm, I'm not good at this. <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Let's go! Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Pancakes or ice cream? Ice cream. Giving gifts or receiving gifts? Giving gifts. Vietnam or London? Just my home is Vietnam. So? Vietnam, continue. <laughs> Friends or family? Family. <laughs> Scorching hot or icing cold? Icing cold. Handsome or cute? Cute. Garlic or no garlic? <laughs> garlic. <laughs> Thin or thick noodles for pho? Thick noodles. DC or Marvel? Marvel. Cat or dog? Dog. Sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Werewolf or vampire? <laughs> to me, my boyfriend? Vampire. <laughs> Beach or mountains? Ma beach. Long hair or short hair? Long hair. <laughs> um, sweet or salty? Sweet. Winter or summer? W summer. Your childhood crush or your current crush? I don't have a current crush. I'll childhood crush. No, it's cute. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Hit me. Oh. Study or work? Work. Boat or private jet? <laughs> <laughs> private jet. <laughs> Boats, I love beaches more. 
Pepsi or Coke? Skip. <laughs> Not sponsor. <laughs> Pizza or ramen? Ramen. Sleep or eat? Eat. Modern or vintage? Modern. Tall or clingy? <laughs> <laughs> Tall and clingy. Sleep early or late nights? Sleep early. Top or bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Skip! <laughs> Um, <laughs> boy or girl? Like my child? Doesn't matter. But I like guys, so like boy. <laughs> Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Vacation or staycation? Vacation. Night or morning? Morning. Art museum or history museum? History museum. Car or bike? Bike. Train or airplane? Airplane. Oh, money or oh, a favor? Oh, oh, favor. Camping or glamping? <laughs> Camping. <laughs> Attend a party or host a party. Oh my god! And so more? I think I answered a total of 34 questions. I can recount it. Okay, how about we try to break this record and try to answer like 70, like 40 questions. Problem, I, I, I ask you any. In one minute, yeah? And it's not even an influencer. Today we're gonna <laughs> Can I be all... an influencer? Comment in the section <laughs> below. Today we're gonna spill all of her secret. One minute. Okay, three, two, one. Photo or video? Photo. Social media message or text message? I Can I just switch to so, video? Social media or text message? Social media. French fries or onion ring? French fries. Share food or don't share food? Share food. PayPal or Venmo? Venmo. Instagram or Twitter? Instagram. Tattoo or piercing? Tattoo. store bought or homemade? Homemade. Plans or surprise? Surprise. Hi or Vietnamese <laughs> food? <laughs> Thai food because I'm Thai. Books or movies? Movies. Roller coaster or water slice? Uh, roller coaster. Kisses or hugs? Kisses. Hugs. No. Le <laughs> Letters or emails? What? Letters or emails? Letters. Android or iPhone? iPhone. Brand names or generic? Both. Rich. And rich. happy or <laughs> rich and happy and poor. <laughs> no, no, rich, be rich and unhappy or unhappy and or happy and poor. Happy. Oh. <laughs> I always say the last one because I feel like I forgot <laughs> the first. The ringtone scares the freak out of me. No, because when you ask like books or movies or something, I forgot <laughs> the first the, option. The first option, so I always say the last one. I feel like I would choose both too. It doesn't matter to me. I'm a very easy person. But a lot of these are very fun. Girlfriends so, or guy friends? Girlfriends. Hmm. Good answer. I get better along with girls and guys. Okay, so we go on a website and we search this or that and they give us a lot of options. Adult category, student categories, friends category, work categories, and right now I think we're gonna do couples category. <laughs> I think these are the questions that you ask to your partner. Okay, right? so I'll be asking you that. Dirty, dirty questions! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the other question then. No, but it's dirty in a way like wash dishes immediately or oh, wait until <laughs> the sink is full. But not like dirty dishes we're talking about. <laughs> like, laundry or dishes? <laughs> laundry. Dirty, dirty bathroom. Okay, ready? Let's do three minutes. Mm. Three, two, one. Sweeping or vacuuming? Vacuuming. Laundry or dishes? Laundry. Quick, quick, quick. Mowing the yard or weeding the garden? Mowing the yard. Dirty bathroom or dirty kitchen? Dirty... Oh! Ba kitchen. <laughs> Muddy floor or dusty floor? Muddy. Oh, dusty floors. Hand soap or hand sanitizer? Hand sanitizer. Sponge or paper towel? Paper towels. Bar soap or body wash? <laughs> body wash. <laughs> Stained clothes or wrinkled clothes? Wrinkled clothes. Cluster closet or cluster um, bed? Cluster closet. Walk slow or walk fast? Walk fast. <laughs> Looks are personality. Looks and personality. <laughs> 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 Couch potato or fitness? Fitness. Vegetarian or meat eating? Meat eating. Expensive gift or a homemade gift? Homemade gift, 100%. Split the bill or take turns paying? Take turns paying. Calling or texting? Calling. Coffee date or cocktail date? Coffee. I don't uh, drink. <laughs> dining or delivery? Delivery. Food oh, dining. Food truck or restaurant? Restaurant. Food truck is fun too. I love both. Messy or tidy? Tidy. Big, big wedding or small wedding? Small wedding. Pause time or rewind time? Pause time. Regret or doubt? Doubt. Happy endings or sad endings? Happy endings, always, 100%. <laughs> hero or anti-hero? Hero. 
Um, that's success or happiness. Success and happy. Passion But... or stability. <laughs> stability and passion. Both. <laughs> See the future or change the past. See the future. Save hundred strangers or save one loved one. One loved one. <laughs> Okay, well, really? You're gonna kill 100 people? <laughs> no. Smartest person in the world or richest person in the world? Richest person in the world. Speedy or accurate? Accurate. Education. And it hit the spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, introvert or extrovert? Extrovert. Show or tell? Show. Action speak louder than word. Leader or follower? Leader. Emails or conversation. Those are fun. Those are very fun, actually. This is a good team building. The next time I meet. My next boyfriend, or like my next date, yeah. I'm gonna put these questions out and ask them. Yes. I feel like that will tell a lot about mm -hmm. a person. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, Annie, very much for participating in this of team building course. activities. Hugs like and, and kisses. <laughs> <laughs> bye, Annie. Say bye, Tini. Bye. Next time we do something together, she will be my true guy in Thai. <laughs> How to say I love you in Thai? Chan rak kun. Chan rak kun. How do you say it in Vietnamese? Toi yêu bạn. Toi. Toi. Yêu. Yêu. Bang. Bang. Toy you bang. Liberdish. Ish Liberdish. It's Liberdish in German. I know in Portuguese too. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs>So the third and last part of this q and video is called Favorite. Many of you guys asked me what my favorite things are, so I put together a list of 10 things from very general to very personal things that you guys asked me. And right now, I'm going to answer them. Are you guys ready? All right, so the first thing you guys asked me are, what is my favorite food? So my favorite food is Asian food. I love Vietnamese food very much specifically, and I love gom su, which is Vietnamese grilled pork rice. I love it. It's my comfort food. I always eat it whenever I go back to Vietnam. So the second question is, what is my favorite animal? As you guys know, my favorite animal is a bunny. Just because I used to have so many bunnies when I was a kid. I used to have more than 10 bunnies all at once. And I have two very favorite pet bunnies. They're called Butter and Milk. Unfortunately, they all die of old age. I'm very sad about it. And then the third question is, what's my favorite fruit? My favorite fruit This one is a little bit exotic. I cannot find it in the States, in the UK. I can only find it in Vietnam. It is called milk apple. I love milk apple very much. When I was a kid, I studied very hard and my mom always bring milk apple to the late night and I always eat it when I study. That's why it's my favorite food because it reminds me of the memory. Not because it tastes good or anything, but milk apple tastes very good. And then the fourth thing is, what is my favorite way to release stress? Whenever I'm stressed, I go to the gym a lot. That's why I go to the gym every day because that's how I release stress. If I don't go to the gym, I will get stressed a lot more. The fifth thing, what is my favorite love language? My favorite love language that I want to do to other people is quality time. Yes, I want to spend time with the person that I love. That's my favorite love language. But I also want to receive and give gifts. Yeah, I love it when people think about me when I go out shopping and just like the small cute little thing that remind me of them, remind them of me, and they get it for me, and I get it for them. Things like that, I think it's very cute. And then the six things. What is my favorite thing about being single? My favorite thing about being single is that I can focus on myself a lot. I spend a lot of time on myself. When I'm with other people, you know, you cannot just be selfish and do whatever you want. You have to compromise. But when I'm being by myself, I don't have to compromise anything. I just focus a lot on myself. The seventh question is, what's my favorite first day activities? So, my favorite first day activities had to, oh! I just stepped on his nails. I'm so sorry, snails. I feel so bad. I'm a bit shocked right now. Maybe I just, I want to walk around to give this video a little bit of like cutesy and new concept, new things that I want to try out about filming technique. But there's so many snails. On the ground, I'm scared of stepping on them. The seven questions. What is my favorite first day activities? So on first date, I want to get to know that person, but I also want to do a lot of active things. So I want to go rock climbing, bouldering, or go bowling. Something that's get the adrenaline going, but at the same time can talk to other people. So a lot to do with activities, like take a walk, bouldering, bowling, all these fun stuff. Now it's getting into a more intimate and personal questions. What is my favorite way to solve conflicts? So my favorite way to solve conflicts is just sit down, calm down, and talk it through. I feel like conflict, the result of the conflicts is to compromise. 
and not fight again. So I think the best way is to sit down, everybody breathe and write down the solutions, write down the triggers. What triggered us to have this conflict and what can solve it? I think communication is very important to me. We're even in friendship or relationships, every relationships, platonic or non-platonic, every time we have an argument, sit down, breathe and compromise and communicate. Ninth, <laughs> what is my favorite sensitive spot? I'm not going to elaborate on that, but it's the neck. <laughs> and finally, 10 questions. What's my favorite cuddling positions? <laughs> I, for some reason, I like to be the big spoon. I like to hug other people. So my favorite cuddling positions is when I'm able to hug that person like this. This person's head is on my chest and my shoulders and I just play with their hair. I like to give more than I receive. So I, that's why I like this. And this is the end of this video. I really hope that you guys enjoy it. As I mentioned, this is the first ever Q&A that I do by myself. And there's many things that I'm not too sure about, but I'm pretty sure that I'm, we try my best to make more videos from now. I'm still going through my healing area. I'm still loving myself a lot. I wanna spend a lot of time focusing on myself and it's gonna be good. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me some comments so I can answer more questions about myself. Honestly, I love talking about myself. <laughs> But also I love talking to you guys so let me know if you have any more questions and for now I will pack my bags and go home because my friend is waiting for me inside to party more <laughs> all right thank you everybody see ya